Man your feet on that. What the hell happened? Aaron happened. He found out I told you a Ma one, didn't he? Oh, I think we should go and find him. I think in the mood he's in, we should just let him calm down a bit. Right, well, in that case, I want some answers. Just let me clear this little... No, Paddy! Get in there now and start talking. He's always had an inkling. Blimey. I knew I was a rubbish mum, but not to even pick up a sign. Well, I, I think he even fooled himself for a while. That's why he attacked you, isn't it? Because you found out. I, I really don't think he meant to hurt me. Oh. I mean, he did. A lot, obviously. But only because he couldn't stand the thought of anyone knowing. Well, it certainly explains a hell of a lot. The thing is, Chaz, no matter what people say about him, there's nobody hates him more than he hates himself. All this time, Paddy. You never once thought to tell me. Of course I did. Do you really think I wanted to keep something like this from you? I couldn't tell you. Have you any idea how terrified he is of anybody finding out? So why are you telling me now? Because I can't do it anymore. I can't just stand there and watch him rip his life apart and, and, and not do anything. I, I know you told me to go home, but I just wanted to make sure everything was all right. It's fine. I've managed to calm all the animals down and... Have you seen Aaron? Victoria said she went down to the garage, but it was all locked up. Cheers, Pearl. You can go now. Right. I'll ring his mobile. Yeah. No. I'm not sure that that's a good idea. I kind of said some things to him. And like what? Nothing you hadn't said before. Blimey. Paddy Kurt dishes out tough love. Yeah. Well, the softly, softly approach obviously wasn't working, was it? So, what happens now? Just let him stew. He'll come back when he's ready. Pearl. You're right, are you? Sorry, around. It's a bit of a sore subject. You better come in. Uh, I, we had a difference of opinion. How do you mean? He found out I told Chaz and Marlon. Marlon knows. Hang on a minute. You know? Oh, flaming typical that is, isn't it? Am I the last person to find out that my own son is gay? <sighs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll go have a look around for him. He might have gone up to Zach and Lisa's. Well, good luck getting him to talk to you. Aaron? Aaron! Aaron! Hey! Hey! You've got three seconds to tell me what you're doing. It's Aaron, he's in there! He's talking about The place is full of smoke, Ken, he's trapped! Is he breathing? I can't tell. Come on. Right, call an ambulance. Do it now! I'm gonna go get bloody. Come on. 
ambulance. Oh, jeez. You got any brandy you can shove in there? I need so much calm my nerves. If you want to get off, I'll give you a ring the moment he gets back. No, no, it's fine. Carl's busy enjoying his final night with the kids. But anyway, do you think I'd trust you to tell me anything? Just... Yeah, all right. I suppose I deserve that. Not quite, are you? Both of you, now you need to come. What? What's happened? Miss Aaron. No! Come on, mate. Oh, please, God, no. What happened? The place was full of fumes, Chaz. You must have got locked in there. Aaron! Aaron! He's not breathing! Just do something! What was he doing in there? I don't know. We just found him. Wait! Wait! If there is a pulse, it's too weak to tell. Oh, we can't just do nothing! Move out the witch! Come on, Aaron! Come on! That's it! How long did you say the ambulance would be? I don't know. They said about ten minutes. Let's try again. Aaron, please. I'm begging you, don't do this to me! You asked me this one an accident. What? What do you mean? What I'm trying to say is I think he meant to kill himself. Ambulance! Aaron, please, please! I don't think it's working. No! No, I can't lose him! I can't lose him! I can't lose him! Come on, mate! Come on, Aaron! Come on! Aaron, please, please! Come on, mate! Come on! No, no I can't lose him! Carl gone? Yeah. I was going to get a cup of tea if you want one. Okay. I'm still the same. Why don't you get off? No. There's no point in us all being here. I can't believe this is happening, buddy. If I hadn't... If I hadn't found him... I'll ring you as soon as he wakes up. Okay. But I'll... Uh, Come back late then, yeah? yeah. I'll, I'll bring the iPod in. No, because that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Play music like that. You saved his life. He's wired to a load of machines, Mum. They don't even know yet. Hey. You did everything you could, sweetheart. How is he? What, is not? No, no, no. It's just not come round yet. Right. So why do you think he did it, then? I don't know. Do you think he actually wanted to kill himself? Or do you think it was an attention thing? Look, the last thing Aaron wanted was attention, believe me. Well, he's got it now, hasn't he? All well, the village is going to be talking about him. Do you think it was something to do with that lad? What lad? The one he hit. The one he got arrested for. I reckon it has. It can't just be a coincidence, can it? You got home late last night, didn't you? I was at a club. And don't pretend you didn't do the same thing when you were our age. Because you've told us all about it. Thirsty? Yep. You got a hangover? Back off, will ya? Only I don't see you giving him a hard time, and he's been out all night. Your brother spent the night at the hospital. You okay? It's Aaron. 
He tried to kill himself. Shut up. He's in a coma. Seriously? Well, I'm not going to joke about something like that now, am I? But he's going to be okay, though, yeah? I don't know, you know. Of course he is. He inhaled dangerous levels of carbon monoxide and poisoned his system, treating him with oxygen to drive it out. And then he'll be okay. I'd love to be able to answer that, but at the moment I can't. It depends how his body responds. The fact that he's still unconscious isn't a good sign. You're saying that he might not wake up? No, she's not. Don't say that. I just have to know. The next 24 hours are critical. I'm sorry I can't be more positive, but all we can do is wait and hope. He's not going to die. We're doing everything we can. I'll be back to check on him again later. Yesterday morning, we were waiting for him at the police station. And there was me, thinking things couldn't get any worse. Did you see that? What? I think his eyes just flickered. I didn't see anything. I'm going to go and get the doctor. Just, just. You've not slept. I think you might be seeing things. Oh, am I? He'll wake up when he's ready. Yeah, well, maybe he doesn't want to wake up at all. Of course he does. Paddy, you should have come to me. And I wanted to. I thought about it. Lords, but you and him don't exactly get on, do you? I'm his mum. I have every right to know what's going on. He's 18. So? So he can do what he wants. Well, what do you want? What's that mean? Well, you like having him around, don't you? Playing dad. Maybe he didn't want me and him sorting things out. It's ridiculous. No, you thought you knew best. You thought you could handle him and his problems. Well, you couldn't, and look what happens. Sorry. Well, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? You've let him down, Paddy. He's in this state because of you. This is all your fault. 